Hi, um, I've just recently asked by a viewer on YouTube about sound effects within Jashaka. Uh, unfortunately, Jashaka is quite limited in terms of sound effects. You can put sound into your videos, but obviously it's not going to be anything as amazing as the paid programs, but hey, that's what you're paying for, and that's why this Jashaka is free. So what we're going to try and make today is something like this. So I don't know if you heard that, um, you, obviously you can see it's just basically two cannons firing and uh, the sound effect. So I'll see if I can find my... Uh, I'll see if I can try and play that again and see if you can get the noise of the sound. So to create this, I did a couple of things. Well, the cannons and the background were created within Jashaka and if you notice the canyon the cannons also move there reacting so this is how I did it went into paint as you can see I literally just painted out a simple background I did the same thing and just painted out a cannon so uh, if I tidy this up I now have my paint background my cannon background then what I did is I popped over to a a website called Detonation Films and what these guys do is they sell a load of stock footage of explosions and whatnot but they also give some stuff away free and that's basically what I used. I downloaded a cannon hit and they've also got gun sounds as well so what I downloaded was this but I cut the detonation parts out and I also downloaded this audio I'm not sure if Charcoal will play that but uh, basically all you need to know is it's a uh, gun sound then I went into my animation module and I added that all that together. So as you can see down here, I've got my cannon on my left hand side, my cannon on my right hand side. I gave them animation. And then as you can see, I've got my sh actual shots overlaid on top. So then I exported this back out to the desktop up on here. Here we go. And then I brought it into editing. So I'll restart this so you can see basically what I did. So I'm going to bring my animation clip in. Then I'm going to click on track, insert. Then I'm going to go up, get my gunfire, and stick it on top. Now I know my, my actual fire occurs at about f four frames into the animation because that's what I set it at. But if we actually listen back to the gunfire shot, it's from frame one so we basically need to shift this along four frames the second thing I did is if you actually listen to it the, f the sound file has actually got more than one gunshot in it there's a bunch of different ways to do this the way I found easiest is if you just split out one gunshot and then on a different track just repeat it that's probably the easiest thing so that's what we're gonna do so one gunshot is actually about one for one second long so after about 24 frames which you can see up here that cuts out so I'll get to 24 frames make sure my track is selected I'm going to click on S to, uh, to split it off I'm going to create tracks insert and I'm going to do that again and I'm going to press S now these two big blocks I'm just going to delete them uh, I don't know, that's fine. And then what I'm going to do is, one of these I'm going to move across till it's at the 4 frame mark. Now this is actually quite hard to do in Shaka because as you can see, I'm trying to move this and it actually moves the timeline. So for example, if I put this timeline at 4 seconds, which is where it needs to be, then the minute I start moving this, it moves. So, not very helpful at all to be honest. The way I found to get around that is either you can just do trial and error, but obviously if you've got loads of stuff going on, go to your four frames, fourth frame, go down here, press S to split. Now we'll go down to our second shot. There. I'm going to press S again. So now all I've got to do is line up these with that split. Here 
uh, if it works. There we go. And then all you're going to do is go back and play. And there you go. So I have a feeling the reason it's coming out a bit choppy is partly because I'm using Cam Studio as well and that's easing up a lot of processor power as you saw earlier on, something came up about my graphics and whatnot. But I'm guessing without that it'd be a lot smoother and a lot easier to run. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope this helps. Thank you, bye.